all right guys so back in the garage and uh, i'm wearing the same thing as the last video because um this is the same day just making uh, more videos more content for you guys so today we are going to be removing this valve cover um we're going to take off this one two three four five six bolts off this valve cover get it pulled off get it cleaned up degrease it and then over here we have some aircraft remover right there from rustoleum hopefully it works as good as the um aircraft uh brand but if it doesn't oh well um we're gonna get all the uh, paint off we have here our vht wrinkle plus uh red paint guys this is the color we chose for the uh, valve cover to make it match the wheels on the hatch and uh we want um little accents to match so um we're gonna do valve cover red don't know exactly what color for the uh, engine bay yet, but if you guys want to go down below in the comments and let me know if you guys have any suggestions for the color. Get a 10 mil. Let's take this off. Also, we got to take these off right here. So, these were already loose. Take these off. Um, don't know if I have to put these in order, but I'm going to keep them in order. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys know if I have to keep them in order. <clears throat> Just like that. Then, we're going to take off this cap here just go like that take this off right here as well Look at that oil is clean baby but i need a rag fuck it oh wow just so it can sit on the side so um i'm gonna set this aside right here don't worry about that stuff getting scratched up we're gonna paint the car in the near future as well so okay now we got that off we're gonna have to make stencils right here to cover this up with some masking tape and the way we're gonna do it is we're just gonna put the masking tape over and cut around it and that way it stays on but first we have to degrease it and take off the valve cover like i said so we're gonna get a 10 mil out of here let's get these off is that tiny or loosening nothing stripped or what I think that thing's stripped. I think all of them are stripped. Or they just don't have the right bolts on them. Damn. Okay, so just as I suspected, um, I don't know if you guys can kind of see, but that thing looks hella stripped. So if you guys know at home, uh, if a bolt doesn't want to come off, it's because it's most likely stripped. So what I did was I got under here, um, pressed up, and was able to like make it or force it out. So I'm just trying to apply pressure right there. You guys see it pop off. So I applied pressure on this, not on the actual um, surface of the uh, head right there. So just like that, over here, I'm gonna probably try to do the same. So right here, I'm gonna try to apply pressure and pressure's gonna go on here, not on the actual surface of the head, like I said. There it is. All right, we got the uh, valve cover separated from the uh, head. Now, pull up on there, pull up on this side here. And valve cover is pretty much off, just like that. Yeah, we're using the aircraft remover from Rust-Oleum, so we're gonna uh, spread that on just a second after we uh, degrease it, and we find some cardboard. So um, let's get this thing cleaned up. Hey, what's good? <laughs> Say hi. Do something funny. Dance. <laughs> okay, so we're set up. Um, we got a uh, cardboard here. Cut it up. Um, now we got our space here. Got our valve cover. We opened up our bottle of aircraft remover right there. We're just going to try to like dump a little bit on here because, um, yeah, look how thick that is though. Try to dump it just like that. And then we'll dump some more over here. Kind of hard to do it with the camera. Like that. And then we'll just spread it off or spread it around. Just like that. That looks kind of gross. So we'll just go like that. And uh, kind of spread it on. Try not to get ourselves. Ooh, Charles went and got me some quesadillas real quick. Um, got some green sauce right here. This is called consomme. You just dip this in there and in there. Fire. Got a little bit of lemon. Put some green sauce on there. And then we dip this bitch. Get it like this. And we just dip it in the consomme. Like that. Let's take a bite. Fire. All right, so we're back at it. We already spread uh, spread some all over the whole valve cover. So you guys can see already that it is kind of like wrinkling off. Like it's kind of like bubbling off. 
as you guys can see right here look at so this thing just like peels right off and I'm gonna let it sit for like a few more minutes and once it's done hopefully everything comes off nice and smooth but you guys can see it right here it just like bubbles up like it like takes that whole paint off it's really really weird hopefully um, we can get this whole valve cover nice clean and smooth and that way we can start spraying our um, VHT and we'll have a nice clean pretty valve cover for the uh, case swap over there so um, let's start removing some of this paint I got a couple different scrapers right here. So I got this big one, the smaller one, and this uh, tiny one, I guess you could say. So we're going to get to removing all this paint real quick. So I left it for quite a little while. And hopefully this... So you guys can see there, yeah, it's peeling off rather nicely. So I'm going to try to finish this up. Try to get both layers off. So that way we're at this coat right here. And uh, once that's done, we will be able to clean it, degrease it, and start with the paint. So can't wait. Let me know if you guys are excited down in the comments down below because I am wrinkle red guys coming soon. Let's finish this up so we can get started. So this is what we got the Valkyrie to look like right now. This is the last uh, coat right here. So we don't really have to peel this off. This is the, the finished product here. All right guys, so um, Sissy is holding the um, camera for me. You guys don't know who Sissy is. It's my daughter. She's gonna hold the camera while I show you guys what I'm doing to um, get these uh, stencils out for all of the holes. So I'm just placing a uh, tape over it. We got our little uh, cutter here. Um, we cut around the circle. Just like so. Now, this is rather easy, but it can be a little bit difficult if your knife isn't cut or isn't sharp enough to cut. But there we are. So that's cut off. Now we got a stencil right there. It's not the best, but it works. All right, so for these here, so all these that are around, so I got six of those to go. Um, we're using a quarter to draw out a stencil. You guys can see that almost fits over perfectly. Now it's uh, time to throw some more alcohol on a rag real quick or on a napkin. Uh, lint free, of course, and wipe this down and then we are good for paint. And I don't care about overspray for the car because um, we are going to paint that car in the future. So don't worry about that, guys. I don't really care. First coat is going to be um, vertical, second coat is going to be horizontal, and third coat is going to be diagonal. So first coat is uh, vertical, up and down, second coat is horizontal, and then third coat is going to be um, diagonal, so like, like at an angle. So we're going to do this real quick and show you guys what this looks like afterwards. Alright, so uh, Sissy's going to help me uh, hold the camera while I spray. Hold it for me, okay? You know, hold it where you can see that, okay? Right there. That, okay? Like that, right there, okay? With both hands? Yeah, both hands. All right, so first coat is gonna be vertical, which is up and down. Second coat is gonna be horizontal. And third coat is gonna be uh, diagonal. So let's get to this. And it said heavy coat, so. All right, so sorry about the noise in the background, guys. This is our first coat right here. Um, that was uh, vertical right there. We're gonna go diagonal next time, and then, or we went vertical, we're gonna go horizontal, and then diagonal. So um, this is our first coat. Instead of go with a heavy coat. So we're gonna let this sit for uh, 10 to 15 minutes. Once that's done, we will go with another coat, get the horizontal, and like I said, the last is gonna be diagonal, but 10 minutes in between coats. We're gonna try to make this thing as clean as possible. And uh, hopefully we can get so much wrinkle out of this, you won't be able to tell like these defects because um, there was a lot of that throughout the valve cover already. So hopefully you can't really tell on, uh, well, when this thing is all said and done. But um, so far, I'm liking the color. All right, so that's the second coat right there. I think I went a little heavy on it. I got some drips right here, look. Damn, I went hella heavy on this one. And I got a lot of drips. Hopefully, like, the wrinkle after will, like, kind of hide those imperfections. But it is what it is. I'm trying to show you guys the imperfections as well because I'm not a good painter. I didn't know I went that heavy on the coat. Um, 
It is what it is. I guess so that is the finished product right there. We uh, went ahead, used the heat gun to dry it off. Um, it looks really, really good. It has imperfections, of course, but um, overall, I'm happy with it. It looks really, really good. Um, on this side, the other side, I kind of like trashed it out, but you guys can see this side looks fucking phenomenal. Now let's go over to the other side where I kind of messed up. And yeah, I beat it up bad over here. You guys can see all the drips here. Messed up the whole backside all the way to down here. But it's all good. It is what it is. Um, I will get it redone in the future. Don't know exactly when. Um, maybe before I even throw it into the car. The motor into the car. But for right now, this is it right here. That's what it turned out like. I like how it turned out guys let me know in the comments down below if you guys think it turned out all right for my first time i know i did uh mess up the backside, but it's all good um let's get to throwing this onto the motor because i don't have another spare valve cover let's see what it looks like oh it looks even bad like that all right guys so charles pointed out to me when i before i set this down that um this honda motor uh, was gonna be facing that way and I would have nothing to worry about about these um runs to me It's just like an OCD thing, but she's like hey, no one's gonna see it So fuck it. Just leave it like that for right now If you don't like it later you guys could uh or you could finish it up redo it and I said all right All right, fuck it, but look at the wrinkle on this guys get in the chest like um, you have to be very careful With how you use the um, heat gun because if you stay on one spot too long It'll like like overdo the wrinkle so like right here. You can see the wrinkle is really bad and over here it's not as bad so that was a uh, cause of using the heat gun the wrong way but it's hiding most of the imperfections like perfectly uh, if you go up like this that looks really really clean i can't wait to throw the rest of the parts on um motor is looking super super sick with just the valve cover can't imagine how it's going to look when it's inside of the hatch but um for now what do you think charles did it come out looking good yeah it came out pretty clean for my first time on uh, it didn't come out perfect like I wanted it to, but um, yeah, guys, that's it for today. Um, we're going to wrap it up. It was just a short video to show you guys that we did this to the valve cover. Um, just more content for you guys, show you guys what we're doing here at home. I know um, I'm really upset about that. Chelsea's is kind of like upset about it too. Her OCD is kicking in. She's kind of fixing it, to be honest. Look at that. She's making it kind of like go away. Huh? Yeah. Like some of it will go away. Like she's kind of pressing it in so it looks like more wrinkled, but um. I'm going to let her finish that up. Um, motor looks really, really good with the valve cover. I'm super, super stoked on it. I can't wait to um, throw the rest of the parts on and then it be in the hatch with everything painted up. It's going to be super, super sick. So um, just stay tuned for the videos ahead, for the content ahead. Um, yeah, like I said, that's going to wrap it up. Shout out to Chelsea for helping me out. She's holding the camera and holding the light and stuff like that. So she gets some meats from me. Anyway, um, yeah, let's wrap it up. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully, um, it wasn't too short of a video. It was kind of sloppy and like all over the place, but I was trying. Um, it was just like a bunch of things going wrong from drips to not having the right stuff to not really having the right tools to um, having the kids here, them talking and whatnot. So it was just kind of a mess all over the place. So um, thank you guys for watching anyway. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace.